Well, good day, everybody. You are watching Beyond the Test Drive, and today we're going to do a deep dive tutorial on how to actually use the radio of this Mazda infotainment system. We're sitting in our long-term Mazda 3 Carbon Edition. Check out all of our videos about our experience with owning this Mazda 3. I'll leave that link up there. And also, check out our full deep dive tutorial and review on this system. This system shows up in pretty much all Mazda, CX-30, CX-50s, and we did a deep dive into all these menus and just a little bit of a review because it's a little bit of a love-hate because this is not a touchscreen and you have to use this control wheel down there. So check out that video for all the nuances and how to use all these buttons. But today I am going to be using our scroll wheel. And when it comes to radio, we did get a lot of questions and comments out of that original video. So today we're just going to try to answer those with hopefully is what is a pretty short video. Again, thank you for all your support. Consider subscribing and that would be greatly appreciated. All right, so let's just dive in. First things first about this system is it is a little cumbersome. I'm not a big radio user, so I'm Apple CarPlay. I like Spotify. I listen to podcasts. But so... That's why I didn't go into too much detail that first time. But today we're going to fix that, so hang with us here. First things first, though, I am going to be using this scroll wheel to move around the menus, and I will be pushing it to enter, and then you have your back button here. Also, the key thing about Mazda radio stations is they want you to put them all into the favorites list, and you can access that favorites list with this star. You can see I hit it, and here is all of our favorited radio stations but we're going to get that exactly how do you get them in to the favorites list how do you just move amongst radio stations that aren't in your favorites list and then how do you manually tune this thing all right so let's go back to the home screen first things first this is all the main menus in the home screen you will find all of your radio controls up under entertainment and the first frustration, number one, is when you hit that entertainment, you're going to see whatever last thing you've been doing in your radio controls. And you can see the last radio station uh, is playing there. If I turn the volume up, you'd hear 101.9. But we don't want that. We want to keep going. So we got to hit this scroll wheel button again. So that's a little frustrating. And now you get all the radio menus. The very first thing you get is this source list. If I click that one, this is where I can select amongst all of my audio input input sources. Uh, AM, FM, uh, USB, Bluetooth, if I have CarPlay hooked up. One thing to note is this carbon trim does not have satellite radio. It does not come on all trim levels, just the upper trim. So there is no satellite option there. And the other way you can move through your source list is with this source button on the, on the steering wheel. You can push this and it'll cycle through all of your sources. The next one is that favorites list and you'll see that right here. This is all of those radio stations I have favorited. And you can move amongst these with the scroll wheel and then uh, push this button and select one. And there you go, it's been selected. I can also move amongst my favorite list by using buttons. Uh, so the first thing I can use is I can use this volume knob. I can push it to the right and you can see it cycling amongst our favorite radio stations. Or I can use the stereo, I mean stereo, the steering wheel. I can do up or down and I can go amongst all the stations. Now this will only cycle amongst the source list. So this is only cycling amongst the FM favorites. I have to go back to menu, go to my source list, go to AM. And then now once I'm in AM, I can cycle amongst my AM favorites. So that's a little annoying, but if I hit my favorites button down here on the star, I get all of them and you can see I have a couple AMs. I can just go right to and hit that but it will only cycle amongst whatever input that you're using am or fm all right so let's go back to the home screen again lots of button pushes here entertainment menu again uh so we did that now station list this is interesting pull up your station list so you can see this is am stations i don't want am stations i want to see all of the fm stations so i click that again as you can see this is a little cumbersome station list again now this is all of the fm 
stations that have been scanned in. I think it continually scans it in. So now, you know, if the car moves out of this area, it will continually update this list. And you can see I also have all the HD stations here. Now I cannot cycle or move amongst these stations with these buttons that I just used my favorites on. So that's a little frustrating. Uh, the only way for me to move amongst these stations that have been scanned in but are not part of our favorites, as you can see, there's a favorited station right there with the star, is I have to go down to tuner controls. So I hit tuner controls. Now, this is a more typical setup for a radio, and I set this very top menu selection here is scan. So if I select that, now what it'll do is it'll scan amongst all of those station lists. It'll sit on them for a few seconds so you can hear what it is. If you like it, you can favorite it. If you like it, you can stop on it. So that's kind of nice. Uh, as you can see, it's just moving amongst those right now. So most stereo systems have that. That's pretty typical. Uh, if I want to go individually, I have to go down to either the forward or the back button right there. So I can hit this and I'll go to my next available station. I go to my next available station, next available station. So the thing here though, is there is no way for me to move amongst this station list here by using any of these buttons. I have to go into this tuner control menu to do that. The only thing these buttons do is move amongst your favorites. But uh, anyway, so if I pick one of these and I like it, I click it, and then I hit the favorite button. Now it's part of my favorite list. Okay, last things last is, uh, one more thing here is manually tuning. Menu again, tuner controls, right underneath that is manually tuning. So here I can move amongst the different things, see if I can find a station. It's probably all, oh, there's a station right here, and then I can favorite that one. Now I favored 93.9 the hookie, whatever, whatever that is. <laughs> okay, guys, that is how you use the radio. Again, it's a little cumbersome. I'm not going to defend the system, but let me know if this answered your questions, if you left one in the past regarding that other video. And if you have any new ones or any new comments, get the conversation going below by leaving a comment. So thanks for joining us today, guys. Again, consider subscribing. Always give a like if you felt this gave you value. Tell YouTube to not put junk in your feed. And again, thanks again and have a great day, morning or evening, wherever you may be.